I beat Graham six frames to two and lost <laughs> because he made a few big breaks and he had more points than me. That was so. the last time you agreed to that then? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I love the name Jamie Jones as well. Do you remember Jimmy James and the Vagabonds? He could, it could have been Jamie Jones and the Vagabonds. That's a bit before <laughs> your time, Ken, but yeah, they were a great band. Thank you. <clears throat> Jamie Jones to break. Jamie Jones breaks off, leaves Andrew Higginson a half a chance here. There's a pathway around the back of the black after tempting this red. Yeah, pretty good. Needs the cue ball to slow up and looks well, just about right. really has been a very, very entertaining session of snooker. I mean, these players have put a great display Three. on for the crowd in the Crucible here this evening. They really have. Jamie's had breaks of 95, 55, 65, 101, 51. And then Andrews had a couple of superb breaks. 89 Four. to get back to 7, 5 behind. And then that magnificent 82 to get three behind. Mine seven. Well, he'd still have lost the session 5-3, but I think he'd be quietly 11. pleased with that. 12. a lovely shot wasn't it and look at the angle he has on this red and you can play this 90. with top spin or back spin this will be bringing more reds into play doesn't want this too much side and that's just about okay Sometimes you can lose the cue ball and you just play it with a bit of side. And he's managed to stay in the black. A delicate little cannon there might just help. He's hit the other red. I hope he hasn't covered everything. There's one into the corner, but it wasn't quite as he played the cannon. Let's have a look at it. He just caught that other red and it's finished rather. If the one goes past the pink, that's the easier one to get position from. Oh, there wasn't much room, but it's safely in the Quite pocket. While well, the chance is there now. <laughs> this match will be played to a conclusion. Tomorrow night. That sounded a little heavy to me there, but he's okay. Sounded like a slight kick. Thirty four. Thirty-five. That's another good positional shot. The Reds are absolutely beautifully dispersed. Just to pick them off. And as he 
Pots one, another one will become available. Yeah. Just get the cue ball clean. Just a little bit of composure. Just take your time. He you knows the value of this frame and the importance of it. Just a little bit of a yaw for, from Jamie there. It's tough at the crucible, I can tell you. Mentally, it does take it out of you, but you can have a nice lie in and get ready for tomorrow night. He's a terrific break builder. Is He's had a maximum break. In fact, he made that in the Welsh Open in 2007, and he lost out in the final. He got to the final that year. I think it was Ronnie O'Sullivan that beat him in the final, was it? Neil Robertson. Neil Robertson beat him in the final. In fact, I think he beat Ronnie in the semi-final. 50. Six. 51. He played that very positively, didn't he? Could have rolled it in, but... Decided to stun it in off the side cushion. Never touched the sides. This is a great response from Andrew Higginson. Looked under severe pressure. <laughs> he had a little smile there around the table. He thought he'd missed the blue there. Fifty-seven. So just the black, one more red, and one more colour, and he will cut the deficit on the beam. Mighty re relieved. Wow. Well, he's done it again, Dennis. Andrew Higginson. Almost on frame ball. And, uh, wow. It's amazing, isn't it? You, you see the winning post in the frame and you think, I've just got to pot a couple more balls. And, uh, well, he turns away in disgust. He's left a possible plant. And he's got himself on the pink. The only consolation possibly could be the black going safe, but with those five reds around the pink spot area, he doesn't have to worry about the black. Not just yet, anyway. Well, the chance is there now. And Jamie Jones Seven. just a minute ago thought he was going to be shaking hands and would have had a two-frame advantage. Now there's the possibility that he could get that 10-6 lead, but he's got a lot of balls to pot. Eight. But doesn't have to play any cannons. They'll all clear each other as he pots this pink and the one behind it that will open two reds for the right corner well there you see he's 43 14. points behind 59 remaining on the table well, if he takes four reds pinks he, he will need that black he may have an opportunity to take the black off the cushion. When he puts this pink, he'll leave a nice angle on the red, just to the left of it. And he can stun the red in, move the black off the cushion, hopefully leave it over the middle pocket, and that would bring everything into play. 21. Not quite sure what he's looked at the scores, but this shot will certainly tell us if he has. Well, he has looked at the scores and just didn't 22. get full enough contact on that black. Well, he, he risked that, and it was the correct shot, provided he hit the black half ball. He was guaranteed to be on the black, pink, or blue. Now he's got to play a very difficult green, and he's got to find a path back up to green. the two reds. Got to miss the yellow on the way back up again. And he 
has done. And he's made a pretty good job of it. Okay, it's not perfect by any means, but under the 25. circumstances with the rest, that was pretty good. He's looking at the black now as we show you that good pot with the rest, but I don't think he can avoid the cannon onto the other red here, Ken. So this is a tricky little positional shot coming up. Well, I think he put everything into Jamie, trying Jamie. to avoid the 25. cannon onto the red, but has he been a little bit lucky? He's covered the one with the blue, but Andrew still has a chance for this, but that was a golden chance, wasn't it, to open up the four-frame advantage? Mm, excellent chance, all right. Big shot this for Andrew Higginson. That was just pure pressure there. That one shot would have virtually clinched the frame for him. Now, if this red's dead straight, he's got quite a bit of action to get on this. And it is. We know he's got terrific cue power. Can he screw this one back? Oh. You bet he can. Well, I hardly touched that in the white flew back, so this is another young player with terrific cue action to be able to play those type of shots. Oh, these are tricky, though. If he can reach it without the rest, it would be better. Six. Although he seems pretty good with the rest, I hope that isn't the commentator's curse. Seven. Yes, good pot on the red. Was a choice of green or blue. I'm just looking at that black, Dennis. He's going to need that black. I'm just wondering if he gets right behind it, will it be able to drop it into the center pocket or does he have to develop it? A little bit short on the yellow. He may come around and have a well, look at the black. It will be in his mind. Okay, it's a few shots away. Sure. I'm just looking at the black can and if he can negotiate these four colours, he's having a look at it. Yeah, I was going to put a little white up and Jamie was queuing up at exactly the same spot, so maybe it does pot. 17. He's got to be pretty precise when he gets on the blue to leave the angle on the pink to do that. 21. This is the key shot, isn't it? Off the top cushion. He doesn't want to finish straight on this pink. Anywhere but straight. He should be okay. Now, how's the angle? 26. Oh, he doesn't want to be straight because he won't be able to get close to the black. And I think he is straight. Now he can't get as close to the black as we showed you previously. He's got a slight angle. He's got terrific cue power. Can he force it? Well, he's now looking at possibly screwing back and leaving the double. Yeah, I think the black is only potable from where you put that white on the double, maybe. His only choice now, Dennis. And what a shot to finish this, this session. It's all on the black. Well, everybody loves a black ball. Even Andrew's got a little smile there. He's looking up at the monitor. Is it there? Yeah. It is there. 
What a session of snooker these two young players have given us here this evening. And Jamie Jones, well, he must be absolutely delighted. It looked as if Andrew Higginson was going to be two behind at the end of the session. But the young Welshman leads overnight by ten frames to six. Well, that was an exciting session from these two debutants, uh, as it were, in the second round of this year's World Championship. We are back at one o'clock tomorrow, and you've got Ali Carter against Judd Trump. Yeah, you won't want to miss that one. Sleep well.